hello everyone welcome to my channel so today's our lead code weekly contest 408 third problem is count the number of substrings with dominant rows okay so basically we are given a string and we have to return the number of substrings with dominant ones right so what is what does the dominant ones uh, substring means see a string has dominant ones if the number of ones in the string is greater than or equal to the square of the number of zeros in the string so basically uh, what we will do is we have to find the sub we have to first find the substring of this particular string right and at that point uh, the the substrings which satisfies this particular condition that is uh, sub that is the number of zeros right cross number of zeros that is zeros into zeros is less than or equal to ones would be our dominant one so if we take the if we look at this particular string the substring that satisfies dominant ones uh, substring would be the string would be one one that is this one and this one and zero one that is this is string right one one that is this string and then uh, zero one one okay so number of zeros are here so zero cross zero is less than it's equal to one yes so it is a dominant one string zero so these two are same right one into one is less than equal to one yes so it is also a dominant string zero cross zero is less than two yes it is a dominant string and one cross one is less than equal to two yes it is so it is a dominant string so the first thing that comes into our mind by looking that at this particular problem is firstly we will uh, find all the substrings right so it will take a complexity of n square okay and then what i will do i will make uh, basically uh, this is the code for finding the substring forget uh, this particular part for now i have taken one uh, string right and like i will at at every point i will inc uh, add s of j to my substring right and at this particular point i will check whether uh, it contain it is a dominant uh, one or not so for, for that I will count the number of ones and zeros of this particular string in zero and one variable right and now i will check whether one is greater than is equal to zero cross zero that right and if it is then i will return one and if it contains one then i will simply increment my count variable and return it right so this particular code will give a complexity of n cube and if i further optimize it right so basically i will not make a substring and i will take this variable zero and ones okay and at the same point only i will check whether how many zeros and ones are there in this particular substring right and if this condition satisfies then i will simply increment my count and return count and this would give a complexity of n square right again it will give tle so basically we have to further optimize it so for further optimizing i will uh, use prefix sum okay so we will make one vector right of prefix initially it contains all the zeros right and it is equivalent to the size of string size okay and now what i will do is i will uh, simply use one for loop okay and i will check whether our index is zero that is we are at the zeroth index then i will check our s of i is equal to one if it is then prefix of i would be one otherwise it is zero it would be zero only okay and otherwise uh, if we are not at the first zero index then we are at one or two or three and so on then what i will do is if s of i is equal to, equal to one then what will i do i will simply add one to the i minus one index okay and uh, otherwise if it is zero then i will do nothing prefix of i would be the previous index that is prefix of i minus one so suppose in this case what would our prefix uh, vector would look like 0 0 0 1 right and then here 2 because 1 plus 1 would be 2 okay hope you have got it it is so simple and now what i will be doing is i will be using this uh, prefix sum to uh, reduce the complexity so now what i have done is uh, I, I have taken one once variable first of all i have taken two loops right and the inner loop will start from eventually start with j only okay j would uh, start with i and i have taken one and zero variables i will calculate one so how can i calculate one if our i is called as zeroth index then what one would be 
prefix of j only because i is equal to equal to j otherwise one would be prefix of j minus prefix of i minus 1 okay suppose it is 4 j is 4 and i is 0 then uh, i is 1 then what would it look like uh, 4 minus uh, 0 that is uh, fourth index minus 0 index okay and now we will calculate the zeros so how can we calculate the zeros we can simply first calculate the whole window from i to j that would be j minus i plus 1 and now i will subtract the number of ones from it so eventually i will get zeros only hope you have understood it right and now the condition that if zeros cross zeros if less than is equal to ones then we will simply increment the answer okay now this particular code is to optimize the solution if i remove it from here and now if i run the code it will accept it because now we again we are working on the n square complexity only that is we are we haven't optim we haven't utilized the uh, prefix uh, sum okay so now let me show you so the basically the whole the complexity that lies in this problem is to optimize it using the prefix sum so what the prefix sum would do basically it will tell us that we can take a jump of this j index or not so basically we can take a jump from this uh, j uh, of th this j index on some scenarios right and the the, the scenarios are uh, written here now let me explain it first the code right and here i have taken two examples basically there are two scenarios for each of them i have taken one we will dry run this code okay so first let me tell you the uh, so, uh, let me make you understand the code uh, see here uh, to optimize it what i have done is i will take one see if zero cross zero is less than is equal to one then i will increment my answer by one right and i will take one temporary variable and i will store the square root of one into it why i am taking the square root of one in, uh, once because see here we are uh, whatever was the condition zero cross zero is less than equal to ones right so in order to take a jump right and ones are dominating that is uh, ones are greater than zero so i will take square root of ones right to make them equalize okay and then i will check whether the stem that is the square root of ones is greater than zeros or not if it is then i will simply increment my j j value that is jth index with temp minus zeros and i will also increment my answer value with temp minus zeros right but there is one condition that it should be uh, less than f dot length right otherwise if uh, it is greater than f dot length then we will uh, use this condition that is f dot length minus j minus one now let me make you understand by taking one example suppose our string look like this one one uh, one one zero zero and take one more zero here okay so I have taken uh, for for indexing I have uh, written in this way right and what would the prefix sum look like for this particular thing one right here for one one plus one would be two here for one plus two would be three here one plus three would be four here is zero so zero plus four would be zero zero plus four would be zero four only sorry and zero plus uh, four would be four here I have taken five by mistake but it is four only okay so uh, see for example uh, assume that we are our j is at current this uh, at this point that is j is pointing to 3 and i is pointing to 0 okay i am taking uh, just one example to make you feel make you understand so the number of ones we have calculated is 4 the number of zeros we have calculated is uh, 0 okay and see basically this satisfy this condition that is zeros comma uh, into zero that is zero into zero is less than is equal to four number of ones so we are uh, here right we have incremented our answer by one and now i am telling you that how can we take a jump right for this particular code what i will do is i will take the square root of number of ones okay because uh, jump depends on the uh, value of zero cross zeros right so one are dominating here so basically we will take the square root so square root becomes 2 and now i will check whether this 2 is greater than number of uh, zeros or not okay why i do why i am doing this i will let you know 
so for the, for now uh, just assume that uh, if to if our timber becomes that is uh, uh, square root of our answers is greater than this zeros value then i will increment my j with the 2 i will increment my answer with the 2 okay so basically see if i increment the our j value with 2 so j will uh, j will come here at this particular point and see we are in the outer loop right that is j Oh, j is outer uh, we are like uh, in the j's loop right and eventually j will increment by one so basically after this incrementing j by two so j will move to three plus uh, two is equal to five and one more time it will uh, increase so it will fa be facing to six and this six has come from the for loop that is uh, incrementing the value of j okay now see basically we have taken these two jumps now look at the scenario see uh, if we take here 0 or 1 or if here 0 and 1 comes it doesn't matter right it will be our uh, basically the dominant one string only so that's why uh, we have taken the jump now let me explain you see we are our pointing to j to this particular point if j was comes here so here it is 0 so 0 comes one time and 1 comes four times right so here 0 is uh, sorry 1 cross 1 would be less than is equal to 4 okay so the dom dominant string condition would satisfy so we would increment the answer okay for this particular point and if for this particular point if 0 0 are here then we have got two zeros here right so 0 into 0 that is 2 into 2 is less than is equal to number of ones that is 4 yes the condition satisfies so it will be our dominant string right this particular string that's why we will not iterate to this particular uh, index we will simply jump to this index okay hope you have understood it right so so basically we have taken the jump to two values okay and here i have uh, this i have taken one check see if my j plus temp minus zero so that is j plus two right is greater than f dot length suppose our uh, our uh, string was, was of five length only and the jump here it is telling that you have to take a jump of two then it will go out of bound okay so basically here we are adding answers right answers so basically for that we cannot add two because our string length is only five so we can add two we can only add one so for, for this i have written this condition and if this condition does not satisfy that is our string string is big enough right then i can simply uh, increment my answer with temp minus zeros okay and whatever second uh, second condition look like that is if this condition do not satisfy that is zeros cross zero is less than equal to one do not satisfy then what we will move to as part that is zero cross zeros is greater than ones okay so basically this is the uh, scenario right in this case also we can take a jump right that is if number of zeros are greater than one then also we can take a jump let me explain you uh, suppose j is pointing to this particular index okay one and zero is point i is pointing to this particular index that is i that is zero okay j, i i is pointing to zero and j is pointing to one so number of zeros until this particular point is two and number of ones is zero okay so basically we will uh, not we will not uh, move to this particular part okay because the condition fails here zeros are zeros values two so two cross two is left and is equal to zero that is uh that once that is zero okay so we will move to else part okay now looking at the previous scenario and the prefix sum can we take a jump okay so yes we can take a jump right and how much jump we can take so basically the condition is two cross two is uh, greater than zero yes four is greater than zero so we have moved to this part so now how how much jump can i take i can take a jump of zero cross zeros minus ones minus one okay so here zeros are two so two cross two minus ones is zero only so zero minus one so three that is i can take a jump of three so basically from one i can take a jump of three so one plus three would be four so i can until here i can take a jump okay and see we are in the for loop so eventually the three would increment to one so j would be pointing to four four okay now we have taken the jump of basically three and one jump for with the for loop right so eventually we are index pointing to index four 
now let me show you see so basically if so it comes here whether it comes zero or one whether it comes here zero or one it does not uh, it does not uh, have any uh, any uh, it do not have uh, any uh, sorry uh, problem with our answer value okay so how like see our zero is uh, zero's value is two here right and suppose here it's one so for this particular string i'm saying right until two our one is one so two cross two and our one's value would be one here if i come to this index so two cross two is greater than one yes it is greater than one so nothing will happen right because it is not our dominant string so i will not increase increment my answer value now if i come to here one our number of ones is two and zeros is also two right so two cross two four is greater than two yes so i will not increment our answer because our dominant string uh, condition do not satisfy if i come to here number of ones is three and zeros is two so two cross two is four is greater than three yes so basically condition of dominant string do not satisfy right so we will move to here so like we have moved to this particular index so we have skipped these three values because no matter what comes here it does not matter and see but uh, uh, but if ones come here then what so basically we are using the prefix sum to count the number of ones right that's why we have taken the prefix sum okay so for basically we we have skipped it and we have we know basically at this particular point we have uh, number of ones is equal to 4 okay so we can skip this part so hence reducing the complexity hope you have understood it at at the end basically we will return the answer right if i run it yes it is accepted and if i submit it yes it is submitted okay so thank you guys hope you have understood the problem if you understood it please, please give me a thumbs up and please uh, hit sub, hit to the subscribe button I'll see you in the next video till then goodbye